In step 3.9, we will discuss how to audit and validate restoration test. Please understand, objective of a restoration test is to determine whether restoration is feasible in case original database is corrupted. After the test, areas of improvement are discussed and implemented. Let us first check what is the requirement in information security policy. So this is the information security policy and requirement for restoration test. Okay, so clause 23 speaks about database restoration test. Now here, restoration test for critical database at least on half year basis and restoration test for all other database should be conducted at least on annual basis. Okay. Now let us check what data organization has provided. These are the dates given by the organization. So here we need to have which database is critical and which database is important. So let us hide other field as of now. Okay. And let us assume date of audit is 31st. December 2022 okay so this is important database and hence this is complete that restoration test conducted within one year this is also complete this is critical so test conducted in last six month so this is also being complete now this is critical this should have been tested in a year 2022 however this is being not done so this is our area of observation okay now for these three please also obtain detailed restoration test report to cross verify the date of restoration and also check for closer status of areas of improvement Okay, now let us quickly draft the observation. This is audit report. Okay, so now this has already been drafted. This is the requirement. This is the observation or the fact. And last part is evidence verified. So you can write restoration test reports. Now, this is the risk. In absence of restoration test, restoration procedure may not be validated and in actual event, it may not be helpful. Risk can be considered as per your overall risk exposure. And this is the area of improvement restoration test should be conducted as per frequency defined in information security policy so with this we have completed step 3.9 as well so this is also last step of step 3 that is auditing the database related control please note that these are the basic choice points Step 3.1 to 3.9 are the basic checkpoints. You may like to add your own checkpoints considering overall risk environment of your organization. Thanks for watching.